I would now like to welcome back Gina Osborne. She is a former special agent with the FBI as we continue to follow the latest in these ransomware attacks across the country and frankly across the world. Uh, Gina, in your experience, we are seeing so many more of these and the threat is increasing in terms of the targets. Why are we seeing this so much right now? Well, when it comes to crime, criminals attack us where we live. And with the advances in technology, we're spending more of our time online, whether we're on social media, banking, or doing our business. So the hackers, they're a lot more sophisticated than they used to be, and they're developing new tools to use against us. And they're looking for the weakest link in order to get into our systems. And unfortunately, with these phishing attacks, they often use an unwitting member of our workforces to get in. All it takes is one click uh, on a link to let a hacker into your system. So we need to remember that cybersecurity isn't just an IT problem. It's everybody's responsibility to keep their network safe. Right. Each one of us plays a role when you get those emails into your inbox. Let's talk about the targets, though, here. Uh, the oil pipeline, the meat processing plant, transportation, our systems there. Uh, most recently, a hospital system. I mean, the list goes on. Um, what does this reveal about our vulnerabilities and these particular targets? And what concerns you the most about what could happen? Well, what concerns me is with all of these different attacks that you you spoke about, these hackers aren't only affecting the companies that they're attacking, that they're also, the residual effects are now disrupting our lives as American. So it, it's been reported that Russia's been behind some of these attacks and the Russian government, they want to weaken the United States and, and diminish our democracy and sow civil discord. So the results of what happened with the colonial hack, that aligned with these Russian ob objectives. Plus, the Russian government is actively protecting the hackers by harboring them and by refusing to support the United States in investigation and extradition of the cyber criminals. So what should concern, concern us all is the fact that these cyber, cyber attacks have a national security implication. And there is so much money involved here, Gina. I mean, I want to talk to you about the ransoms. There have been some big, big multi-million dollar payouts that we've seen. Where is this money going and what criminal organizations is it helping fund? Well, it could go anywhere from organized crime all the way to helping North Korea fund their missile program. And a lot of the ransoms are being paid, but it's important to note that if you pay the ransom, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to get your information back. The FBI discourages companies from paying ransoms and uh, that because the um, the ransom, it emboldens the adversaries to target other organizations. And again, depending on who, who those adversaries are, um, they could be our biggest uh, threats against this country. And the message tonight from the White House, we cannot do this alone. Do not pay the ransoms if we want to uh, find a way to stop this. It is our best current defense. Gina Osborne, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Rob.